Hey folks, Shuli here from Design Files. I wanted to put together a quick video to show you a sneak peek at some of the new kitchen functionality that we are just about to launch for the 3D floor planner. Now I know that a lot of you have been asking for more advanced tools when it comes to be, uh, when it comes to building kitchens within the 3D software. So we're really excited to get this out to you and we should have it available very soon. But in the interim, I wanted to put together a quick video to show you some of that great new functionality that you're going to have access to. Now, to begin with, we have added in a new kitchen cabinets library within the Design Files 3D floor planner. So once this launches, you're gonna see that there is a kitchen cabinets option. You would just click on that. In it, you're gonna find libraries for base, tall, and wall cabinets. So you just click into any of these and you're gonna see all the different configurations that are available to you. And you can start pulling those out and building out your kitchen designs. Now for any of the cabinets that you do add, you have the ability to totally customize them. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click on one of the cabinets here. And when I click on a cabinet, you're gonna see that the right side panel is gonna update and it's gonna show me the different settings that are available for me to customize. So here where it says door style, you can see that I've just got a flat panel here, but I could change this up to shaker glass if I wanted to, or maybe recessed, or I don't know, six pane, uh, six pane glass. There's a variety of different styles here that you can choose from, and then you can customize your cabinets to fit the design that you need. The other thing that you have available to you is uh, below the door style, you're gonna see that you can change up the frame finish. So here, if I click into this, um, I'm just gonna back out of here. You'll see that you have the option to do paint or wood. If I click into wood, there's loads of wood textures that you can apply to it, all these different stains. And then of course, you also have the paint color library. So you can add any of these paint colors to your cabinets as well. So let's go ahead and we'll select this blue one from Pharaoh and Ball, and you'll see exactly what it looks like. Now below the door style and finish, you'll also see that you have the ability to change out the hardware. So here I've got another library where I can see all the different hardware options. And for each one, it's gonna show me a large image and it'll show me the size. And I can just click into any of these to apply it. And then I'll just close this menu. And here you're gonna see that I can also change out the hardware finish. And there's a variety of different finishes that you can choose from. You select the one you want and it will automatically apply. Now, you also have the ability to change out the counter styles. So let's click on a few of these. I'm just gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna click on these base cabinets here. And down here, you're gonna see that there is the countertop option. So we'll first change out the countertop material here. So let's go ahead, we're gonna edit this. I'm gonna click into any of these libraries. So let's go into marble, we'll go into gray marble and I'm just gonna select this option right here. And you can see how it updates. Now, if I want to, I can also change the countertop edge style. So here you're gonna see, an, again, a number of different options available to you. When you select one, you're gonna see how that gets applied directly to the countertop edge. And of course, you always have the ability to do an extended overhang or um, kind of shorten the overhang on any of the countertops, which comes in really handy, especially if you're gonna be building out uh, any kitchen islands using the base cabinets. Now, for your base cabinets, you also have the ability, I'm just gonna go into the base cabinet library because here you're gonna see there's a variety of uh, base cabinets that have a built-in sink. So you can choose the configuration that you want and when you're ready, when you select on your base cabinet with the sink, if I come over here to the right side panel and scroll down, you're gonna see the uh, sink settings. So here I could do a double or a single basin. So you can just choose what you want. You do have the ability to choose undermount or drop-in. So you can switch up the uh, installation. And of course, if you did want a uh, farmhouse kitchen sink, you would just go to the base cabinet library, scroll through here, and you're gonna see that there's a variety of farmhouse options that you can pull from. Now, if I come back here to the sink options, so I can change up whether I want this to be a single or a double basin. I can change up the drop in or the undermount. Here I can change up the sink finish. So let's say I want this to be black. And then below that, I've got my faucet style here. So there's a variety of different faucets that I could choose from here. I select the one that I want, and then I also have the ability to change up the faucet finish so I can fully customize everything the way that I need. Now, aside from that, you also have the, um, a number of cabinets that have built-in appliances. So let's just rotate this design around here and you can see some of those built-in appliances. 
Now you always have the ability to still pull in a fridge or a stove or anything like that from the product library. But uh, once we launch the kitchen functionality, you do want to check for any of the cabinets that have those built in appliances, because for any of these, you're also going to be able to change up which appliance is showing within these cabinets. So here you can see that I can choose the oven, the coffee maker or the microwave. So let's change this up to an oven. And then again, I'll have the ability to change up the finish so I can make sure that all of my appliances have that same finish to give me a nice clean look for my cabinets or for my overall kitchen design. So there is a lot of functionality that's built in to the uh, new kitchen updates that we're just about ready to launch for our 3D floor planner. I'm really excited to get this out to you because I know so many of you have been asking for this. And um, honestly, this will be our V1 version of it. I'm sure that we're gonna continue to add in more functionality as you guys get in and test it out and let us know what else is needed. Uh, so keep your eyes open on your inbox and we're going to try to get this out to you as soon as possible.